you shall give in the case of question shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and upon the gain of another person. Okay. And your name, sir? Gino Fial. G-I-N-O. My name is Fial. F-A-I-E-L-O. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Fiello. I understand you're the director of school facilities for the Newtown Board of Education. Right. That's correct? Yes. Yes. Speak, yes. speak verbally, please. Okay. So, Mr. Fiello, how long have you held that position as uh, director of school facilities for the Newtown Board of Ed? Since 2007. Okay. And what are your duties? Um, can you explain your specific job responsibilities? Yes, I oversee, I oversee the custodial and maintenance staff for all the schools. Okay. And has anybody ever asked you to sign an agreement not to discuss the condition of the Sandy Hook Elementary School prior to um, the date of 12-14-2012? Objection relevant. <laughs> Has, has anybody ever asked you to sign an agreement or verbally told you not to discuss the conditions of the Sandy Hook School prior to December 12, 2012? No. Okay. So, if the school were to install a new uh, security system, would you know about that? Yes. You don't look to your attorney, you just answer the question. You can look to me if you want to. No, not for an answer. I'm not hearing the answer. Yes, I would know about it. Was there a new security system installed prior to December 14, 2012? No, there was not. When was the last security system installed at Sandy Hook Elementary School prior to December 14, 2012? I believe it was installed sometime in 2007, if I'm not mistaken. 2007? Okay. Do you have any idea why the media indicated that Principal Don Huxbrung had recently installed a new security system? Objection. You're not in. Did you say you're talking about the media? That's what the media Yeah, before. I did ask about How the widespread know media accounts. This is, uh, once again, we're going down the path. Okay. So we're going to uphold the objection. Okay. Mr. Fayel, do you ever interact with any work orders that are produced in conjunction with maintenance or repair of the schools in the Newtown School District? Yes, I do. Okay. And were there were you involved in or, or what's what's let me strike that. For these work orders, um, is there a process by which they are created? Yes, there is. And who would be the initiator of such a work order? Uh, several people. And who are they? That would be my administrative assistant, the maintenance staff, and the head custodian of the schools. Okay. And the ability to generate work order. Would the principal or the assistant principal be able to generate a work order? Not in the computer system, no. It's a, it's a computer system. Would those work orders, when they are completed, would they be signed by anyone? No, they would not. Did you ever receive any emails that from uh, Principal Hawks from regarding needed repairs? at the Sandy Hook Elementary School? I'm going to object to that. There was a pending objection which has never been addressed um, in connection with emails that were requested. The way that I understand and there's some case law that FOIA is supposed to work is that when there's an objection raised, particularly as to vagueness, it invites an interactive process between the attorneys in order to try to determine exactly what they're looking for. Based on the request that was made, we could not determine what they were looking for, and there was never ever an interactive process. We never clarified what they were looking for, and instead they just took the appeal. 
So I would object to the line of questioning um, concerning the emails um, between um, the principal and Mr. Fayel. Um, I'd also note that that request, and part of the problem was uh, addressed, said assistant principal and Don Hodgson and the maintenance department. that were produced by, um, produced in response to our FOIA request? No, I do not. Okay, so in other words, you think that those are copies? These are printed directly out of our database. Okay. What, now, I noticed that at the bottom of exhibit, uh, complainant's exhibit B, there's a place for two different signatures. One is the technician, and one is for someone to confirm that the work is actually been completed. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. So, it looks to me like, is it true then that the protocol, according to this form and its format, is for these work orders to have the technician sign off on them and the corroborating official to sign off on them when the work order is complete? Yes. Okay. The, the way we do it is the technician completes the work order, initials it hands it to my administrative assistant and it gets logged in the database. We do not keep the original topics. We have no reason to keep all the paper. So it goes into a database. So it's initialed only by the technician. Mm -hmm. There's no corroborating signature to make sure that the work order actually was in fact completed? It, we, we have weekly meetings. We verify that the work orders verbally are being completed in a timely fashion. And w w who are those meetings? With my maintenance staff. And who, who, what are the titles of your maintenance staff? Yeah. Uh, I have a, a, a licensed electrician, one, one licensed HVAC technician, one licensed plumber, and a general purpose carpenter, and an apprentice electrician. Who went to school if anyone would verify that these work orders were actually completed? They're, they're verified. The work orders, the work orders are, are Bill or inputted from the custodians, typically the head custodians, or sometimes the maintenance folks themselves. So they would verify that the work was actually done. So would that be Mr. Anzalotti? That's correct. Right. Okay. 
Okay. Now, are you aware that of any school or board of education policy that requires uh, yearly inspections of the school premises within your district every year by August 1st? I, I'm actually not aware of that policy. Well, are you aware that any inspections were conducted in 2012? Inspections are done every year before the uh, start of school. So you're not aware of the policy, but you're aware that the inspections occur? That's correct. A lot of more state measures. Okay. And what is the purpose of those inspections that occur at the school on a yearly basis? They're, they're, they're basic safety inspections, uh, fire extinguishers, um, the PA systems, time clocks, fire pumps, fire systems, fire fan, etc. Is there any, any inspection regarding cleanliness of the school? That's conducted by myself. And did you conduct such an inspection in 2012, by August 1st of 2012? Yes. And did you conduct such an inspection of the Sandy Hook Elementary School? Yes. And what were your findings? Gotcha. What does this have to do with documents? Well, because, well, we have never received those inspection reports, although they are the subject of this appeal. I uh, direct Your Honor's attention. Maybe you can help me out. Okay. Um, if I may direct Your Honor's attention to uh, FIC 14-461, which has been marked as Complainants Exhibit A. There is a FOIA request dated April 25th, 2014, directed to the first selectman, the, I believe it's also directed to uh, the, to the school board chair, and to, well, those are the two relevant ones. In that letter dated April 25th, 2014, which constitutes the FOIA request made by former attorney Spinella, or the former counsel, attorney Spinella, for Mr. Halbig, so paragraph five requests Newtown Sandy Hook Elementary School hazardous substance reports, copies of triannual annual asbestos inspection reports, copies of any reports showing lead paint. Um, it also requests we did not receive those reports. Yeah. We received the pre-demolition study. Ask the witness. I, I am trying to ask the witness. You raised an objection. I'm answering it. The objection was to the line of inquiry. You were actually asking about a cleanliness report. No, that's not one of the listed here. Okay. Okay. Well, the witness testified that is for general maintenance issues, Mr. Paella. I don't understand the question. All right. Let's just it's start it's again. Let's we'll start again. What is the purpose of the annual inspections of the school premises in Newtown School District that you conduct? Objection. Relevance to the pending FOIA reports. Okay. Do you know of, know whether or not there were uh, inspections, triannual asbestos inspections reports generated? for inspections of Sandy Hook Elementary School for the years 2002 through 2012? Yes. Where are those reports? They were provided. They were not provided. Thank you. 
complied with that FOIA request? We have complied, and you can verify that through the witness. Okay. Uh, Mr. Fiella, did you were you involved in in uh, were you involved in gathering those documents um, for Attorney Frank to produce? The asbestos documents. Asbestos PCB. Uh, in lead paint. The asbestos documents were gathered by me for Attorney Frank. Yes. And. I'm looking at a document that says three year reinspection of ACBM. Mm -hmm. You know what that is? Asbestos containing materials. Okay. And it's dated July 19, 2011. Is that correct? Which document? There are a bunch of them in there. Okay. I'm looking at the one dated July 19, 2011. It's about four or five pages from the back. I think it's the fifth page from the last. Yes, I have. Okay. Do you. Do you you conducted a search for documents and you produced that document to Attorney Frank? Yes, I did. Was that the last inspection? At the time, I believe it was. Okay. What about the lead paint inspections? Can you show me where in this document those inspection reports were produced? But just to be clear, the request is for the lead paint that needs to be inside the school for the years 2002 to 2012. And the town responded didn't have any. All right, so let me direct the question to the witness. Uh, Mr. Fiella, do you know whether or not there were any inspections for lead paint and PCB inside the Sandy Hook Elementary School for the years 2002 to 2012? Uh, lead paint and PCB inspections are not required. They're required under construction conditions and demolition conditions. So your testimony is that they're not required and therefore you don't have them. Is that it? That's correct. Okay. Ms. Fayola, I'm referring now to Exhibit uh, C-B, which is completed as Exhibit B, the work orders that we've been talking about. And um, I understand that that's just a percentage of the work orders which were produced yesterday. Um, where are those work orders kept? They're kept in the database. So you don't keep hard copies? No, I do not. Okay. And um, were you the person who gathered these these work orders that are contained in Exhibit CB? My my, my administrative assistant did. Under your direction? That's correct. Okay. Now um, I'm going to show you a photograph. Take a look at that. Do you recognize what that photograph depicts? Yes, I do. And what does it depict? Jackson relevance. What's the relevance for this? The relevance is that we're we do not believe we were given all of the work orders relevant to a functioning operational school during the year 2011 through 2012 and 2012 through 2013. These pictures indicate which the witness will hopefully testify that honestly to. Quite a bit of damage, mold, rot, damage contained within the building, outside of the building, water stains from flooding, sidewalk repairs that are needed, and I want to know where the work orders were for this, the repairs of these items. 
we do not believe that we received everything. And then we believe that given the conditions as depicted by this series of photographs, Commissioner, there should have been work orders generated for the repair of the school. And if so, where are they? I would object to this line of questioning. I'm going to sustain the objection. Uh, you you're supplemented that you only have a percentage here. We don't, it could be that you still have the, I mean, I don't know what. We reviewed everything, Your Honor. And it's not there. It's not there. If the question assumes that certain work orders were generated. It doesn't assume anything. The question is merely well, to I ask. I think the objection is that we don't, you know, we don't know anything, you know, what, what these pictures are. Well, the, the witness has indicated he recognizes what's depicted within the picture. He knows what it is, Your Honor. It doesn't mean that it's relevant. The pictures, Your Honor. It is, well, what is this regarding? Uh, they're your regarding the FOIA what? request for work, order. work orders. We do not believe we've received or had the opportunity to review all of the work orders. That is why we appealed. Okay. We've, Okay. That's the uh, in substance of our appeal, Your Honor. Uh, Overruled. I'm going to ask the question. Okay. So, Mr. Fiella, um, you, uh, I think you testified that you conduct yearly inspections of the, of all the schools in your district. That's correct. Right. And up to um, December 12th of, or 14th of 2012, does that include the Sandy Hook and the elementary schools? Yes, it did. Okay. Now, you're looking at uh, a picture and I think you've indicated through your testimony that you recognize what this picture is. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's the front entrance of San Diego School. Okay. And have you ever seen what this depicts before? In other words, have you physically gone to the location and seen what this depicts? I, I don't understand the question. Well, you recognize it? Yes. Okay. So how do you recognize it? I, I think... Yes, please, Attorney Brown. Do you know, you know that that's the front of San Diego School? Yes, I do. Okay, do you know why those roll tape was around those poles? Yes, I did. Why? It was that this picture was taken after the incident. Okay, I guess that's a better question. Do you, do you, do you know, do you have any idea when the time frame in which this depicts is the condition of that, the school at that time that that picture reflects? Like you said, you said it was... I'm not sure when this picture was taken. But what is it? You said the tape represents that it was put on after the incident of 2012. Mm -hmm. right. So it was at least taken cool. around about that time or after? Probably after the one, obviously, after that time. Yeah. Okay, so what is it that you want to know about the, these pictures? You want well, to I'd like to direct his attention to the underside of the okay. overhang, okay. which okay. indicates okay. mold, wood damage, rot. wood rot. There's no wood rot. There's no mold. It's water stain from previous leaks. It's water stain from previous water leaks. Water stain from previous leaks. So was there a work order generated to correct this condition? Between the period of July 1, 2012 and December 13, 2012, which is the relevant time period of your request. All, all the work orders have been given for that time period. Well, that doesn't answer my question, sir. My, my, it sounds I, like, I'm if I can, uh, you're asking a question about something that happened after the date of your request. No. Because no. this, this picture is from after the date. It is. So maybe I can back up, Your Honor, and ask the witness another question as part of here. Um, Mr. Mr. Fiella, you you recognize this um, as the as the exterior front of the Sandy Hook Elementary School. That's correct. Yes. And how do you know um, when the water damage occurred? at the Sandy Hook Elementary School that is depicted in this overhang, the underside of this overhang? Specifically, I'm not. You know, I assume that it happened over time. But you made inspections yearly, correct? Mm -hmm. Did you notice this before the date of December 14, 2012? Yes, I have. And did you create work orders to fix it? Uh, no, I did not. Well, why is that? Okay. Well, so your honor is not okay. So you didn't create a workbook. All right. 
What about, um, what, well, let me ask you this, Mr. Fayello. Were you aware of a, a flooding of the Sandy Hook Elementary School at any time prior to December 14, 2012? Jackson relevance. So I'm going to work order. So it says here, do you know anything about it? No, I do not. So your your best recollection, Sandy Hook Elementary School did not experience any flooding prior to December 12th, uh, <coughs> December 14th of 2012. Is that correct? In the period of time that I've worked there, that is correct. Okay. Well, if I showed you pictures depicting mold and water stains, taken just after December 12th, or December 14th, 2012. Uh, would it surprise you? Objection. Does it matter whether it surprised me? Ask him if you recognize the document. Do you recognize the document? Do you recognize what that depicts? Yes, I did. Okay. And do you notice um, any staining on the wall? Yes, I do. And what is that from, Mr. Fayel? It's your best experience and knowledge. Um, from my experience and knowledge, it's it's a form of algae, and we actually power washed it off the walls almost every other year. Was that power washed within a year of it, December 14, 2012? Yeah. I couldn't tell you for sure when it was done, but it, like I said, it's been done approximately every other year. Would you have generated a work order for that? No. No work order for power washing? So that's that's your testimony, correct? It's his testimony. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Frank. Um, Mr. Fiella, what would be the procedure for documenting? Have would you well let me ask you this. Would your maintenance department have done the power washing themselves? Yes. So no work order would have been generated for the power washing? That's an answer. Objection. And why, why is that? Objection. So, okay. Yeah. I think it's a clear question, you know, for, for, just for the record, what is the process and procedure for going about handling that kind of maintenance with mm -hmm. the school? That's all. In this particular instance, today, yes, in this particular instance, the power wash is located at St. Louis School. Kevin Anzalotti would have done this himself, thereby a general maintenance and cleaning of the building. It wouldn't have, wouldn't have generated a special work order. Are they delivered or not? That's his testimony. Okay, no, I thank you for your assistance. All right, let me show you another photograph. And um, do you recognize what this photograph depicts? <clears throat> yes, I do. Okay. Can you, and what is it? It's a classroom door that's been boarded up. And why is that? Yes. No. I do. Um, the front section of the school where the tragedy took place was boarded up so that we could have movers in the building moving the kids' belongings and the desks and all the belongings of the school to Chalk Hill School. And this was done by a separate contractor. None of my folks were in the building afterwards. Was there any documentation for that move? Objection. It's not within the period of the request. Were there any work order generated for that move? Standard okay. action. Okay. I'm sorry, Commissioner? No, the objection. Up the date okay. of the okay. request. Okay. Show you another photograph, Mr. Fiella. You recognize what's depicted in that photograph? It says room 10, I can't verify the room number or what was written on it. Um, it looks like it looks like a court board in a classroom. Okay. And if you had done an inspection and seen that court board, would you have made a request for a work order? Objection. 
I think they've got to establish their own.